what, what's going on in Georgia. Um, it's it's a complicated time. We actually have some runoffs that are tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Uh-huh. So those are for um, uh, state house office, state house, state senate, and then some local races, like in my area, district attorney race. So uh, we're working on those um, at the same time that we're also uh, putting a lot of energy into the Uh, January 5th runoffs. Um, So there are three races on the ballot on January 5th. There are the two Senate races that are getting a lot of attention. Uh, We also have a race for the Public Service Commission, and we have an opportunity to elect the first African-American member of the Public Service Commission. And it's a chance for us to educate voters about how the Public Service Commission affects their pocketbook every day. Uh, So we're um, doing some uh, work across all of those. Some of that's coordinated with campaigns, some of it's coordinated with the Democratic Party, depending on the members and the organizations that are doing it. Some of it is with independent organizations, some of whom I'll mention in a minute. Um, I just realized I didn't say much about my my group, so let me do that real quick. Um, The Indivisible Georgia Coalition is a coalition of uh, local indivisible groups in the state. So so my members are um, uh, our members are uh, groups themselves, not individuals. Um, and so that all the individual activism happens through those groups. Um, so we've got a uh, number of groups in, in um, Metro Atlanta area, but we also have groups distributed uh, across the state as well. Um, so we've uh, really been pleased to have the energy that came into the general election and the results we saw in the presidential um, and then now the energy that's coming into the Senate runoffs. That yeah, it's really impressive. I mean, Georgia flipping, you know, at the at the for the the presidential race was really, you know, was impressive to see. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of interest now. You know, we had uh, a, a very good story being told nationally uh, about how important Georgia was. Stacey Abrams, you know, obviously did an amazing job of telling the story awesome. and investing in the organizing. Uh, Latasha Brown and Black Voters Matter like did amazing work just yeah. telling the story nationwide about how Georgia could flip and the story of kind of the, the demographics of Georgia. You know, if you put the time and the energy in, you could get the payoff off in terms of the the long-term organizing. That's really, really inspiring to see. Obviously the demographics of Georgia aren't the same as Kentucky, but you know, the kind of the fact that, 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 that it was a red state, you know, dependably red state, and now it is not, gives uh, gives us some hope and that we can maybe figure out, you know, how can we uh, shift uh, Kentucky to similarly be in play. (laughs) 